Hi, it's time for us to make our holy wheat garden now. Uh, we start with our tray of sand that we set up last uh, for last Sunday, for Palm Sunday. And we are going to place on it different items and scenes that tell the stories of some of the events that take place during this week. We'll be doing a separate garden for a special service for Thursday night and one for Good Friday and one for Easter Sunday. But we begin this garden by placing a small bottle of perfume that I had on hand. And the idea of this is this is the story of when Jesus is in the home of Lazarus, Martha and Mary. And Mary takes a bottle of perfume, a very expensive bottle of perfume, and anoints Jesus' feet. My thought with using a small bottle of perfume, if you have one that's not too precious, is that in placing it in the garden, that every now and again you could spray some of the perfume around and that would sort of send the aroma, just as that perfume that Mary used would have sent the aroma through the whole house to remind you of that part of the Easter story. The second item that I'm going to place in is a small tea light candle and this is the only item on this garden that probably your children, if you have children in your home, that uh, they can't play with as such but I put that in there to symbolise or represent the story of when the Greeks came seeking to see Jesus part of what Jesus says at this time is that the hour had come for him to be glorified for the son of man to be glorified and so the easiest thing that I had to hand was one of these tea lights that you could put there and light and so a, a flame is often for me very um, reminiscent or representative of glory and so you could have a small candle to represent that. The next little mini scene that we have is that I have on hand at my home a small bowls, pottery bowls, little ones like this Again, if you don't have one of these on hand, what you could use is make a play Play-Doh bowl or you could have your children model one out of Lego or you could use any, even a, cut out a section of an egg carton and use paint the inside or colour the inside blue and just sit that there uh, to be the bowl with which the wa which held the water with which Jesus washed the, washed the disciples' feet. For the towel, I have in my craft room two old towels that have been dirtied and ripped and so I use them to mop up bits and pieces of paint and things like that. So I simply cut uh, a towel shape out of that one of those towels and I use it as the towel for this. Of course, one of the other scenes of Holy Week that we are all uh, we all know of is the Last Supper. So what I have here is a small table that I was able to purchase from like a dollar shop type shop and it's a, a doll's table or a doll's house table and I've simply got that. The loaf of bread is actually, if I turn it over, one of the black, one of the black stones that we've been using and I painted it to look like a loaf of bread. The cup is a plastic cup like a little trophy and I've cut the handles off it to make it into the cup. If you don't have any of this then you can find something else you. Maybe you can use an egg cup or again make a play-doh cup or, or something little like that that you might be able to have in your house. Now the grapes, I didn't have any purple pom-poms, I had a little bag of a few leftover white ones 
that I dipped and, and diluted purple food dye, soaked them till they were purple and spread them out on a, on a piece of plastic or a piece of ba uh, baking paper <clears throat> and let them dry to which and then I just glued them together and the little grape leaf that you saw that's just a printout of one but maybe if you want to your children could sh draw a grape leaf and colour it in and cut it out they could colour in a piece of paper purple and then just tear off little ball, little bits of it and screw them into balls and make the grapes out of those you could do a play-doh grape you could do anything you like and just glue it together and that just sits near the cup on our table. Now the last scene, the last scene that we're going to make is the scene of Peter's denial and the all the stuff that I'm using for that particular scene is um, is used out of our pray and play area at the church. <clears throat> so we first of all have a gate And we are told that Peter, and I'm using the peg people, Peter is waiting at the gate and we get the idea that they are, there's a fire involved, that people are warning, warming themselves around. Now this fire is, again, uh, for the people, again, you could use your craft sticks, you could use sticks, you could use Lego figures, you could use whatever you have on hand. The little fire, yes, I've made that out of uh, felt, but you could use some sticks and some coloured in paper or strip little bits of cellophane paper if you have it um, and make a fire that way. And on three occasions, as Jesus had said would happen, Peter is asked if he is a friend of Jesus. And Jesus has told Peter that he will be denying him three times. And so what I've done is I've got three more of the peg people and I just place them. Whoops. Might just move our table a little bit this way. I'll move them back. And for each peg person, I've got a piece of wood, another one of those cutoffs, and all I've done, it goes backwards on the camera, but what I've done is paint on it the word no. And so for each time a person has asked him, he says, no, I don't know Jesus. And I'm just going to stack those. And scripture tells us that once he has denied Jesus the three times a cock crows now I'm fortunate that in my Easter Easter stuff I've got um, on a small miniature rooster maybe if you have a farm set you can use that um, otherwise you can draw a rooster and just glue it blue tack it to the top of a bit of wood or a, a Lego tower or something like that and I just sit it on top of the gate so that the scene is such that you have the scene and the Easter garden for Holy Week. So we have the perfume. We have the candle because it's representing that the hour had come. We have the table with the communion on it. We have the bowl and towel where Jesus washes the feet. And we have the scene of Peter's denial. Thank you for watching. I hope that if you do make one of these that you, are, you have some enjoyment in creating this and that it will help you as you look at it and reflect on the events of this week leading to Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Thank you for watching. Bye.